Hi, my name is Jeff H. Seip, and I have over 10 years of recruiting experience, including five years at Google. In this video, we are going to cover Google's RRK interview. And what this stands for is role related knowledge. I have debated multiple times on whether this is actually a video or not, but since really the only content out there is on Google's career page, I wanted to cover some very basic items in this video that will hopefully give just a little bit more clarification and help you have a little bit better success. If you like my content, please like. If you have any comments, please comment below. If you like my overall content, please subscribe. Item one, Google's definition. Let's dive right in. Role-related knowledge. We're interested in how your individual strengths combined with your experience to drive impact. We don't just look for how you can contribute today, but how you can grow into different roles, including ones that haven't even been invented yet. Okay, let's chop through it. Individual strengths. So, as you think about role-related knowledge in a Google interview, yeah, it's gonna be pretty similar to any other job interview. You're gonna to wanna to think about your core skills, your core strengths, and then you're gonna to wanna to think about those items also in correlation with the specific job that you're interviewing for. Where does this strengths component show up? It's a little bit more on the open-ended side. This is where we can talk about things more high level, more generically, and this is where you're gonna to wanna to start to think about frameworks. But when I think about my strengths, I try and remove those strengths from what I've done in my career and talk about them at a higher level. Secondly, experience to drive impact. So this shows up a little bit more on the behavioral side. Anytime I hear the word experience, I'm thinking, ooh, we're gonna be looking for a past example that really highlights what we've done and why we would be excellent for the position. So when you think about your examples, a couple of items, the more directly that example correlates with the position, the better, but it's likely that you just wanna focus on your strongest examples. Those are really gonna demonstrate that impact that they're talking about. They'll probably highlight a number of your key skills and strengths as well, but just always be keeping the role in mind. So let's go and talk about that word combine. And it's just a pause moment for us. I don't wanna to get too much into the weeds here, but how are we making sure that we're staying consistent? And one of the best ways to do this is to pull those generic concepts out of your examples and then put them back into your examples and make sure that those themes have role alignment I know that that's very high level theoretical, so I'm gonna pin a video up above that's going to go into a little bit more depth on how you do that, but think about combining this behavioral with this more high level generic, and it will definitely help you have success in RRK interviews at Google. We don't just look for how you can contribute today. So I think this is probably one of the most critical items. So let's start with the end in mind. And the reason why they state this is because for almost all roles at Google, you have to pass hiring committee. And hiring committee is a group of peers in like roles that are reviewing your background and your interview feedback, but they didn't actually interview you. And to determine whether or not you actually get hired for the role, they are discussing, hey, is Jane a good fit for just this niche down position or is Jane a really good fit for this role and we could see Jane as a contributor for the future? This is something that is constantly discussed and something that I saw happen continually um, in hiring committees throughout my time at Google. So the way that this is gonna show up is this will show up probably in your RRK interview in some of the more vague questions or questions that don't seem as role specific. They're gonna test your overall problem solving skills, ability to navigate ambiguity. And so while you'll at least get a couple of questions that will feel very role specific, that would maybe be closer to your sales role or your program management role, you might also get questions that appear to have nothing to do with anything. A common one would be, how would you open a pastry shop, for example? So I want to focus on one more item, 
grow into different roles. I really like to focus on the words that Google uses. They're very intentional. And when I hear the word grow, I think two things. I think about growth potential, but more importantly, how this can have impact and help you have success is growth mindset. So when we think about somebody with a growth mindset and hiring somebody with a growth mindset, it's really six items. I want you to talk about how you develop your skills, how you work hard, how you learn from your mistakes, how you embrace challenges, how you welcome feedback, and ultimately how you just celebrate other people's success. That's the last one and a critical one. If you're thinking about all six of these items, it will correlate really well with that grow word, growth word. Item two, recruiter. Okay, there is absolutely no other interview in the Google process where your interviewer will be able to give you as much insight as they can give you into the RRK interview. And so without giving away anything confidential, and while some will be more forthcoming than others, uh, ask specific questions, and you don't want to go with these kind of overarching themes, very high level, you want to get into the weeds and get into the specifics of the job description and ask for specificity on items where you really need clarification. And that could even include, hey, I saw in the preferred qualifications that you guys are looking for this particular skill set. I don't have it. Just to clarify whether SAP is going to be talked about in the interview or anything else, other any other specific skill set. Remember, just be gracious and kind. And lastly, my strong, strong recommendation is don't move forward to the RRK interview without a job description. It's just, that's not really fair to you. And if the recruiter doesn't have one, well, that's on them. They should never let a hiring manager move forward without a job description. So at a minimum, they should be providing you with something that is very, very close. It's going to yield tremendous success. And this is a great segue into item three, the job description. So as I mentioned before, I just want you to get warm and cozy with that job description. Not all questions will be job description specific, but you need to expect at least two or three of them. So the only way you're going to really be prepared and be able to crush those questions is to just go through the exercise of going through the job description. There's three items that I really want you to focus on. That's just doing a scan through it, highlighting keywords, key phrases, creating a very streamlined overview for yourself, and then compiling and creating interview questions. I've created a couple of videos on this that I will pin up above. And remember, when you create practice questions, I really like to think in two very simplistic facets just to make it more simple for you. Think about how questions and tell me about a time questions. So for those two types of questions, you might get how do you identify risk in a program? Well, just remember, you can switch that beginning wording and say, tell me about a time you identified risk in a program. So there's duality with any of these questions that you create, so they can always be example-based or more high-level generic. Item four, practice. Now, why are we including this in the RRK interview video? Well, because this is going to be the easiest one for a friend, significant other, former, current colleague, somebody who's not really interview trained to help you and guide you and coach you because you are going to create those simplistic questions and they're just going to be easier to ask and give you guidance than maybe a GCA interview or a Googliness interview, etc. So that practice for the RRK part can really be done a especially on the behavioral end, but of course I want you to be testing the open-ended side that will absolutely be in a part of the RRK interview. I know that this video focuses on some very, very basic and core items. Remember, always keep the end in mind, hiring committee, and work your way backwards from there. And just know that the RRK interview is going to have open-ended questions, behavioral questions, and some questions that probably just aren't very aligned with the role, but are testing you for that future growth component. I really hope this helps. Good luck.